And so guys, welcome back to our Manchester United career mode here in FC. 25 okay so guys i'm here i am here <laughs> in the squad hub and uh, well i i am in the process of uh, deciding or planning ahead for season four and the summer window of uh, what players that i want to uh, get rid of so i'm just letting you guys know that i am planning already for season four and i i, I know we are in the middle of uh, season three and uh, we've got lots to do, we've got lots to focus on, especially today, uh, plenty of big games, And uh, but yeah, just want you guys to know, excitingly, already planning ahead, although last episode we spoke about it, especially with uh, this guy Zerxe, that maybe it's time to uh, just freshen up the squad quite a bit, I feel like, you know, some players need to be moved on, their time with us is up, and uh, I just think, brand new, fresh blood, young fresh blood uh, needs to come in and uh, also just you know just get rid of some players to uh, make room for some young players like you know we've got Wheatley Wheatley who excites me this guy Tommy Jackson looks amazing he does just want you to look at his uh, attributes again he just look at that pace crazy and his control as well very good I think he's going to be a baller I really do but you know again just want to freshen things up quite a bit and uh, season four is uh, is basically this season we start building our own United so yes already deciding on you know what plays to uh, to uh, move on but also deciding on what players to bring in and uh, excite us and uh, already building bu building up a uh, an exciting shortlist not gonna show you not gonna show you if you know you know I like to I like you guys to wait it's still very early I'm still scouting uh, for players in certain positions I'm not gonna give anything away yet I like to keep you guys on your toes on the edge of your seats because we have to focus on season three again got to get our focus heads on last episode not so good but yes already <laughs> even though it is the middle of season three planning ahead always like to plan ahead and uh, yeah, deciding on what place to keep and uh, what place to uh, bring in. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are, are also excited. And uh, yeah, it's, yeah, just, it's time to build our own United and uh, change things up quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit, I say, and uh, keep things exciting and you know just fresh, just fresh. But here we are. Uh, so Brentford away, Champions League game midweek. What do we do? What do we do? And uh, well, first off, what do I do with the kit? Um, is that that's kit clash, isn't it? That mm, I, I will try this. <laughs> I won't change uh, Brentford's kit. I will try that. Hopefully, it's not a kit clash. Um, but our team, I think we should be okay. I'm not going to change anything. I'm not. I think yeah, we'll we'll keep it as it is. And I'm confident whatever we put out in the Champions League game, we should be fine in that also. All right, yeah, the kits look good. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But here we go. Hopefully today, a much better day. Full of energy this time. But, you know, it's got to focus. I don't think I was that focused last episode. And uh, which cost us a few results. But here we go. So... Kokaz. I just want to pass this board about quite a bit. Always feel cold at the start of uh, every episode. I do. Always feel a bit rusty. And uh, I don't know. I've seen two minds. Hoyland or Ganacho. In, in the end, it was to uh, neither. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. And uh, can we dink? Oh, we can't dink it. Did he handball it? No, he didn't. We'll take the throw, though. We'll take it quickly. Yes, we can. Back to him. Ahmad. Can you dink it in? Towards a Hoyland. And again. Oh, he scores. <laughs> he scores. Tight angle. I tell you what, he got the header. Keeper saved it, but Hoyland was there to pick it up again. And uh, it was a very tight angle. Got to see this back. This was really good by Rasmus. 
Nice little ball there by, I tell you what, the header was good. And uh, in the end, yeah, the rebound finish did well. Oh, Cocos. Be disciplined in our defending, but here comes Brentford already. They're in. I don't believe it, man. What a finish! What a finish! Is it damn Scott? It is damn Scott. Oh, unbelievable! What a reply. I mean, yeah, poor defensively, but what a hit. And I can't believe it. We can't, we just can't hold a lead for more than a minute. Oh, my days. What? Kirk has. <laughs> what is going on, lad? I said we need a better day. This has been terrible. Oh, my goodness. Everybody calm down. What is happening? We are so loose in possession, it's unreal. Corner Brentford. And uh, no one comes to get it. And it's a goal kick in Bremo. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, what? What's going on, Branthwaite? Wins it again. Oh, this is shocking. We need, we need half time. Thank you, ref. We need half time. This has been, this has been woeful. We scored the goal. Brentford instantly equalised, and since then we have str struggled. We have struggled to pass this ball to each other. Very sloppy and careless. Yeah, this is so dangerous. Very dangerous. The way we're playing, this could be a banana skin. But look at look at Hoyland. Look at him. He's so tenacious. And he's in. Unbelievable. <laughs> he's unbelievable at the moment. Season three, he's been a monster in front of goal. He's got another two goals. But just look at his, his fight, his will, willingness. He just wants it, man. That was unbelievable. And uh, this time, can we please hold the lead? Or... Better increase it. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle. Oh, don't know what we're doing there. Shot. Why Why does Onana do that? It's that ball floated towards him and he still parries it, the man. What's he doing in goal? I mean, it's like a balloon floating towards him and he just parries it. And uh, that's nice. Oh, that's not so nice. Come on. And uh, shot. This time he catches it. Good lad. Right, here we go, Mainu. Oh, I was looking for Hoyland. First time. Ball. Header. Oh. And... It's a goal. <laughs> it's a hat trick for Hoyland. And that, well, the passing, uh, I mean, yeah, it was, was good. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what some of the passing meant, I don't know. But it was nice. We made it as we went here. That I mean, that was that was purpose. The little header towards uh, Ganacho Should have scored, Ganacho, But Hoyland is always there. And he's got a hat trick. Oh, come on. No. No! I don't believe it, man. I don't believe it, man. Just over 10 minutes. And, uh, well, it's Gabriel Jesus. They've got him from Arsenal. They've got Jesus. And, again, in between our defence. Too easy. We've made changes. It's not helped. Brentford back in it. Could be a nervy end. Here we go. Go on. And quickly, give it to Rashi. Can he do a power shot? He wants to. 
He's looking to do it. Oh, it gets blocked. <laughs> Come on. I want a power shot, man. Here he is. He's going to have a go. They block it. And that could well be it. It could, be, could well be it. It's been a scrappy win. Bit better in the second half. Thanks, thanks to one man. Hoyland. And uh, still maybe one more chance here. With uh, Zuxe. No, Ahmad. Maybe not. Oh, handball. Handball. Yes. How many minutes have we played? 95. Almost 96 minutes. This referee. <laughs> he wants Brentford to score. And uh, you know what? It's the end of the game. I'm just going to have a pop. Just going to have a pop. You never know. Rashi. Can he do it? No. Oh! Keeper made a meal out of it. Almost a beauty by Rashi. It was a good hit. But 3 2. I, you know what, guys? I'll take this. I'll take this. Thank you to uh, Rasmus. Hat trick hero. He'll take the match ball. He will do. But uh, you can still see. Oh, my days. There he is. <laughs> He's in the dark. Rasmus in the dark. But now it is the Champions League and uh, we go away to Midgieland. <laughs> Midgieland and uh, excited for this. And uh, oh, I mean, yeah, surprisingly, everybody, well, most players are fit for this. Um, right, what do we do? I'm thinking, yeah, I'll give Yilmaz a start in this one. Hoyland can start. Um, Ganacho. Ganacho. Now, I'm going to start Rashi. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start Rashi. Um, Ugarte, Bruno. Um, I will, look, I will give him a game. I'm going to give him a game. Mason Mount. I'm going to be fair. I will be fair. I'll start Mount. Um, as for defence. You know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to start Euro alongside... Um, some alongside uh, Martinez. That's what I'll do. Karasma can also start this one. I'm not going to change it too much. I'll put Correa on the bench. Anthony also on the bench. And are we good? Are we good? Or I'll put, um, actually, no, I won't. I think, yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, we go with that. What, what's up with the Karasma? Oh, my days is sharpness. Okay, I need to sort that out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Charisma. We'll sort you out, lad. We, we shall sort you out. But first, it is Michelin. All right. Oh, my days. Dude, I, I, guys, I, this third kit, I love it. I do love it. It stands out so nicely. But uh, I don't know. I've got this feeling today. We've got goals in us. Just give it to Rasmus. All oh, my days, give it to Rasmus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But we've also got um, that in us as well to uh, concede goals. Carelessness in defence. And uh, giving Michelin a bit of hope here. A bit of, uh, yeah, a bit of, just a bit of hope. And uh, already they feel lively up for this. What can we do? Here he is, Rasmus. Just give it to him. Or he's on it. Really good, Yilmaz. That's it to uh, Mason Mount. Was looking to go back. Just needs a pass here. Here we are. And uh, first time ball. Oh, it's glorious! And it's Bruno Fernandes. It is the captain. And Yilmaz, first time cross, finds Bruno unmarked. And it is a dream start. Oh, what? A bit of danger here. Oh, well done. Oh, no! Oh, I thought we did it again and concede straight away. 
That was a good save. Very good by Anana. Uh, My goodness, what are we like? <laughs> what are we like, lads? Come on. Bruno. Yeah, I was looking at Rasmus. And uh, well, Bruno, it's opened up for him. <laughs> it opened up and it was there for the taking. The invitation to shoot was a good one. Your mass. Oh, there's a ball here. Oh, well, it's Erasmus. Oh, who's cutting on the inside? It's just, oh, it's Charisma. Oh, oh. <laughs> could have been a known goal, but it could have been a rare goal by Charisma. What? Oh, it was a good run. It was unlucky. And uh, can we nick it, Bruno? What's he giving? Handball against us. I just need a bit of control here. Just need to calm me down. Calm me down. Just a minute to go for half time. Regarde. And that's a nice ball. Bruno. Oh, lovely. Rasmus. 2-0. That's what we can do when we calm things down. We can cut teams apart. And it's Rasmus. Yet again. Set up by, I think it was Bruno. Bruno's been on it in this game. And that's perfect. Just before half time. So perfect. We needed that. It's not been a, a tremendous performance. But, you know, we got the players just to uh, unlock teams. And we did it there. And we uh, we did it well. He goes uh, Rashi. We've been trying for a long distance uh, shot. They seem to, they, I tell you what, long shots seem a, a lot harder this this game. You know, not really had many go in. You know, I've had like one or two, maybe like one or two power shots, but, you know, non-power shots. That's what I'm talking about. Don't seem to go in that much or at all. This is a great ball. What's the ball that is? And then it, that happens. Oh, Michelin. Here they come. Oh, if they score, it's going to make things interesting on my days. They're moving it so quickly. They are moving this so quickly. Deal with it. Telling us the game's not over yet. They're right. They are right indeed. Here's Correa. This guy. Gone, Rashi. Here he is. And uh, Eze. Oh, it's a lovely little poked finish. <laughs> lovely little poked finish by Eze. It, that, that was delightful. I enjoyed that one. That was nice. That finish. Got to see it back. That was tremendous. Little poke. Got that. Lovely. That's class. Almost there. Correa. He wants a goal. That's one thing that's missing. And he's onside here. Yilmaz. Oh, I don't know what that pass was. Maybe trying to find a Correa. But no matter. No matter. 3-0. That will do. Look. We scored some, you know, pretty good goals. Performance wasn't perfect. Wasn't perfect. But we'll take this. We'll take this. It was nice. So let's check the uh, league table of uh, the Champions League. And uh, we are second, which is just fantastic. Having just lost the one game that was to a uh, PSG. And uh, yeah, we are scoring, scoring, scoring plenty of goals. Scoring plenty of goals in the Champions League. So that is uh, wonderful. Uh, so, But, you know, top eight, as I always say. Don't care where we are. Just as long as we're in the top eight, that is automatic. Qualification into uh, the last 16. And there's uh, some very good teams in the top eight at the moment. But some very big teams outside of it. As you can see, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid are there. Uh, Dortmund, Inter Milan, Chelsea as well. Liverpool. 
all my days. I mean, Liverpool, they are almost out of it completely, man. They've had a, you know, pretty bad, yeah, pretty bad time in the Champions League. And uh, here they are flying in the Premier League. But, guys, here we go. Talking of the Premier League, we face Arsenal, who are yet to uh, lose a game this season, uh, along along with uh, Liverpool. But, two, yeah, two teams yet to lose a game. And uh, can we be the team to do it? <laughs> well, I hope I hope so. Of course, I hope so. But I can see uh, Kerkes ain't fully fit for this one. No matter. We've got Oosterwald, who can jump in, do a job. And uh, I don't, yeah, Delit's not ready. So, But it's great. He's back, guys. He is back. Whether he'll be fit to uh, play the next game after this, I'm not sure. It's just knowing that he's back now. It's just like a new signing. It really is. We need him. We need him in the big way. Um, but as for the first team, I think we look good. Hoyden's fit. Ahmad is. Midfield is good. Yep. Um, it's going to change. One or two plays up, I feel. So Yilmaz can go there. Anthony. Uh, oh, well, Correa's fit. Um, might just put Correa there. Just to... Uh, I'll just leave him there. Just to make numbers up. Make some numbers up. Give us options. But here we go, guys. A proper test. All right, so Arsenal kick off then. And, um, yeah. <laughs> already, put, oh, my days were so open already at the start. Oh, I don't believe it, man. I don't believe it, man. Why do we open up at the back? And it's Saka. Unbelievable. Where's Martinez gone? Why is he going after? I think he's going after Havertz. It's okay. We've got a guy there with Havertz. Why is Martinez going there? Does that need to go there? Stay stay in your left back or left centre back position. Nightmare. Arsenal just passing it sideways. Over to Saka. He just likes to stop. Doesn't go at us, Saka. He likes to get the ball and he just stops to make a little pass. But look at this. No. No. No, Martinez again. Bloody Martinez again. Oh, he's dreadful, man. Two goals he's cost us. Two bloody goals he's cost us. Bloody Havertz as well. What's Martinez on? What's he on? He's on a sabotage mission and he's uh, he's doing it well. Wow. Awesome passing. Taking the mick here. Taking the absolute mick here, man. Look at this. No. 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 Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Game over. Just couldn't deal with it, with it. Oh my days. This, uh, this is the problem. We face a good team. They're going to rip us apart. Arsenal have done it. But you know what? We've helped them. We've helped them to do it. Well, the crowd are booing us. Rightly so. This has been shocking. Defensively shocking. Unbelievable. Like, the, the first goal, I mean, it's not helped us. That goal, the first goal, did not help us. Already up against it from the get-go. I was talking about today, we've got to be full of energy. I just feel like this game, Arsenal sucked the life out of us here. Sucked the energy out of us here, man. Felt good coming into this game. Confident, scoring goals, feeling good. And then just instant mistakes at the start. Already they're in. 4 0. It's stupid, bro. It's so easy. Our head's not in it now. Head not, head not in, in the game. Head's not in the game now. This is just crazy. Look how easy it is. But look, no one near him. 
No one near him. Branthwaite. Our defence are having a stinker. The lit can't come back soon enough. But this is what... Look at, just look at the way Arsenal move. It's quick. It's zippy and zappy. And nippy. These little one-twos they play. No messing. Oh, my days. Havertz. Are you... Are you... Are you joking me? No. Oh, sod off. Sod off with that stupid celebration. But the score from there... Oh, Nana. Oh, Nana. That's unbelievable. Five nil. Five bloody nil. What's Oh, Nana doing? Unbelievable. Just what? Come on, ref. Three minutes has been played. Thank you. Play. He blows straight away. He knows I'm in pain. He knows I'm in agony. Havertz gets a match ball. Another player... With the bloody match ball. I didn't realise he scored a hat-trick. Kai Havertz with a hat-trick. Are you joking, mate? Alright, okay. So, let's... let's just, I don't think that it's ready. It's not even ready yet. It's not ready yet. Unbelievable. And... Oh, I mean, Martinez has to play. Branthwaite can't. It's not fully fit. So in comes Garcia. This is not ideal. Do we change anything in midfield? I mean, I'm going to... Yeah, we'll bring on Yilmaz. Um, I was going to play uh, Rashford, but I guess not. Thinking about... What am I, th I don't know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> Uh, so Yilmaz is in Garcia is in I think I'm just going to go with that I am So Anthony Yeah Anthony can just go there Mount can Just come on make numbers Make the numbers up Oh Correa Correa I'm thinking starting Correa against Spurs. Guys, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I just feel like I want him to start. And he's going to start. And uh, yeah, whatever. That, that will do. A bit weird, but I don't know. That Arsenal game totally messed me up, man. So it's hard to uh, know what I want to do. Other than that, other than beat Spurs. And, uh, well, our record against Spurs is a poor one. Let's change it in this game. And uh, it's just got to slow things down again. Just slow it down again because... Cannot fall away from top four. Cannot. Bruno Kerkes. Ganacho, he's been quiet today. Ganacho, not like him. And he's offside. Yes. No, look at this. One nil. What are we doing, bro? We cannot defend. I cannot defend. Boniface as well. Unbelievable. Oh dear. I just don't know. It was both Martinez and Garcia. I mean, I wasn't confident coming into this game. After the Arsenal game, it's really shook us up. You know, I don't have any confidence in Martinez. And uh, not really in Garcia, if I'm being honest. I, I need De Ligt. I need our steady Eddie back in defence in De Ligt. Go Yilmaz, go Yilmaz, go Yilmaz, go Yilmaz, go Yilmaz. Good boy. Great ball. And, uh, oh. Oh. And, I mean, that's the best he could have done there, Correa. But we are behind again, man. We had a great chance with uh, Maynou. We did. Should have scored it. But this guy, for Spurs, puts them ahead. Well. <laughs> 
are we going to lose to two teams at the end here from uh, both from uh, North London in Arsenal and Spurs and uh, come on Ugarte does well and uh, again Maynou uh, Correa oh okay I was looking at Ganacho but Kokes will do Board in. Oh, George Yilmaz! 1-1! One, one. Get the ball! Get the ball! What a ball in by Kokes. And that, that's why you play this big man on the wings. His aerial threat is so handy. And he did so bloody well. Oh, that's relief. It is relief. We're back in it. We needed an early goal in the second half. And we got it. Oh, guys, interesting changes. Um, I'm going to go quite physical. Well, Eze comes on for Mainu going attacking in midfield. But quite physical now in attack with Hoyden on for Correa. Xerxes going to uh, where Ganacho was. So, yeah, Xerxes, Hoyden, and now Yilmaz. Very physical attack. But meanwhile, Spurs come forward. Well, until I can't keep it in. It's a Spurs corner. 20 minutes to go. That's it. Box the men. Box the men. Win the header. De La, uh, Hoyland. Nice. Oh, there it is. It's 2 1. It's Eze. <laughs> it's Eze. Guys, have we stolen the lead at Spurs? This is huge. This is huge for the top four. Oh my days. As I. This is brilliant though. What, I mean, great play by Yilmaz. Hoyden stayed on side. What a run into the box by As I. He was there. And uh, we are almost there. Oh, please let us be there. Now it's going to be a scary last few minutes. And, uh, oh, what's that control? Come on. Come on. Here he is again, Boniface. Oh, great little tackle. Oh, great little ball. What was that, though? Four minutes. We've got Boniface. Still has it. No. Come on, Agate. No. Martinez. Yes, Martinez. Referee. Yes. <laughs> Absolute yes. Guys, can you believe it? What a bounce back. What, what a reply. Come on. Come on. Credit where credit is due. What a bounce back from that shocking defeat to Arsenal. And having gone 1-0 down... We could have sunk ourselves into a dark hole. No. We came out in the second half. We were a different animal. Yilmaz with a fantastic header. And then Eze at the end. Oh, I'm a happy bunny. I'm a happy boy. All right, so let's check the league table after that. So we go above Spurs. We go up to seventh place. But that gets us a little bit closer now. Just a point behind top four. Just be, uh, just a point behind top four. Arsenal, as you know, still unbeaten. But, yeah, we are just a point behind Chelsea. So, guys, despite that thrashing against Arsenal, we are still there for top four. Just <laughs> such drama. And uh, you're never short of it here, guys. You're never short of drama. If you want drama, this is the place to be. But there we go, guys. I shall leave it there. And, uh, well, in the end, quite happy. Quite happy. Despite the thrashing to Arsenal, winning like that, away to Spurs. I feel good. I feel good. And uh, we can take that come, going into uh, the next episode. We can take that feel good um, feeling into uh, the next episode. And just hope next episode is a perfect day. 
is a perfect day would help us a lot confidence wise but guys you know at least you do you absolutely do know well you know what you should know and also you do know as always thank you so much for watching and uh, i shall see you for the next one i'll take it easy